Hi there everyone, this is a quick video just to show you some of the new features we've added to Panther Term. Okay, let's turn the unit on. Okay, here we go. Maple battle unit intended. Please wait for Maple initialization to complete. So as you can hear there we have intro messages telling us what to do. Panther Term version 1, initialize and Okay, so if we do have a, a Mako Battle unit attached to Panther Term, so we're participating in IR Battle, uh, we need to wait till the uh, Mako is finished, and it sends the information on the Mako setup to Panther Term, so, uh, so Panther Term knows exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, then once it's ready to turn on with your radio, you'll see the machine gun lights flash, so we'll just turn the unit on. So you'll be getting greeted with a startup sound. Now you can change any of these sounds. It's very easy to change any of the sounds with Panther Term. Now one feature that we've made, or I've made, is um, we have battle ambience. So as you can hear in the background there, we have some battle sounds and some um, German voices there. So they will just loop over and over in the background as your battle is going on. So let's have a look at some of the other features of Panther Term. Okay, first up, our turret. Uh, we have proportional control over our turret, so let's uh, swing it around over here and back. Now we can go nice and slow if we want, or we can go fast. Okay, so we have proportional control over our turret. Our gun elevation, we can go the stick operates both ways, so you can uh, bring it up or you can then just decide to bring it down. So you have uh, control over your gun elevation either way there. Now let's have a look at firing the main cannon. To so we'll fire the main cannon, we'll see the cannon flash and uh, the servo recoil. That's firing of our main cannon there. Firing of our machine gun. We have a coaxial machine gun there in our, in our Panther term. Okay, um, so those are our sounds. Well, some of the sounds. Now let's have a look at our battle damage. Okay, now depending on the number of hits you've received, depends on the type of explosion sound you'll get. So I'll show you here. Okay, so the first time we get hit, we get that sound. So Panther term's been hit once. And you'll start up again. So let's hit Panther Term a second time. And you notice we have different different sounds there. So we have different sounds depending on which hit number it is. Uh, also, just, just quickly, um, I'm using on Panther Term, you might not see a mushroom up there, because I'm using a prototype piranha mushroom. Uh, the piranha will give you some super great distance with your IR battle. So uh, this prototype piranha mushroom on top of Panther Term. So that's the third hit that now Panther Term has received. Now because Panther Term doesn't drive around, uh, we want some battle damage. So what we've done is uh, we've limited the speed of the turret. Okay, so it's 50% damage. So the amount of available speed we have on our turret is reduced. So that's full over, that's the maximum speed now after 50% damage to Panther Turn. So you can see it's significantly slower than before. Okay, once we hit Panther Turn again, so this is hit number four. Okay, so hit number four, I think, in uh, knocks out the turret motor. So the crew only have the ability to use the manual rotation of the turret and we have that reflected in the sound. Okay, so only able to manually rotate the turret. Okay, now let's fire one more time. So Panther Term is one hit away from death. So when Panther Term is one hit away from death, the turret is completely knocked out. You still have um, gun elevation, or de-elevation I guess, but your turret cannot move. Can't really see it here, but I'm swimming the turret stick side to side. Okay, so let's kill off Panther Term, give it the sixth and final hit.
As you can hear there, another different sound where pantherm is completely destroyed and there's a number of secondary explosions. And we have lots of flashing lights to indicate the turret is on fire. Now if you listen closely, the battle ambience now has changed as well. Because the pantherm has been destroyed, the position has been overrun by the Allies and you'll hear American soldiers' voices now in the background instead of the German ones. So, there we have it. That is uh, Panther Term. Thank you.